There is a lovely bundle of wires and cables and powered things and whatever. Let's hang that cabinet right up there to make this look a little better. So that's 36 inch wide, only 12 inches deep. I wish it were deeper. Um, this space is 38 inches. It's gonna have a little gap on one side, the other side, or split evenly. So here's the process. Okay, to make this easier, we're gonna take off the doors. Super simple. One screw each. And we'll set these aside. Something we're gonna need to do for this cabinet that we're putting there is the cabinet's gonna be up on the top of the, uh, mounted up against the ceiling. So we're gonna have to install this inside the cabinet, something like that, once we figure out where that hole is gonna match with the cabinet. So we'll get there eventually. That way the inside of the cabinet when we look at it, we'll just have this with all the wires coming in, coming in and connecting to all the devices that sit on a shelf right here. Can't really see it. There is an electrical outlet there as well. So we're gonna have to uh, cut the outlet into the cabinet also. Super simple. Something I'm gonna do to make this easier is I'm gonna get these all near the same length and then I'm gonna tape them together in one bundle. Push the rest up in the attic. Then it will be e much easier for me to manage coming through that uh, little face plate. some easy measurements for the outlet on the wall and all the cabling on the ceiling. And the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna mount the cabinet all the way to this wall on the right. So it'll be all the way to the right and on the ceiling. So from the right, the box is 17 inches to 19 and a quarter. Transfer that measurement to the cabinet. And then from the ceiling down, we're looking at seven and three quarters to 11 and, eh, we'll call it 11 and three. Seven and three to 11 and three. Okay, I've transferred the measurements to this cabinet. You'll notice that I'm off a quarter inch. The face plate, the face of the cabinet has this lip. So make sure and account for that if you're gonna be doing something like this. This is an odd installation, but something to pay attention to, I suppose. Now this is the back side of the cabinet. Doesn't matter so much if I mark it up. Um, 
what I'm going to do now, I need to go grab a long square. Stand by. Okay, this square will work quite a bit better for me. Put it right on. Here's my other marks. So I want that line to go at least that far. Same thing here. Now on these, So that's the outlet that I need to cut out. Now, I've got to measure for the uh, cabling box. Okay, so this one is 14 and a half and 17 and a half. So, I'm gonna give it my quarter inch here on the end. 14 and one half, 17 and one half. And then this one's kind of funky because I want this box to fit inside the cabinet, this faceplate, right? So now I've got to measure this distance from right here to the edge of the faceplate. That's my minimum distance for this cut. So let me mark this. faceplate does cover that just barely. I'm a little bit wide. Um, that's totally fine. Uh, let's see. I'm actually going to tighten it up. So something like that. What I'm looking at here is this measurement right there. This, this unit twists up inside. And then these brackets, as you tighten, they spread and hold it tight. So I could go, let's see if I've got that line there. Let's say right here. So my hole in the drywall is uh, a little too big. No problem. Okay, so. Now measuring this, it's gonna be uh, 3 eighths. So I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. I'm gonna go, let's call it 5 eighths. Then the spread here is four inches. I'm gonna give it a little bit four and an eighth. outside and cut it outside so I don't get the sawdust all over the carpet. Okay, the holes are cut. The way this unit goes in is you just uh, aim it up in the hole there. Actually gotta get these all lined up or it will not go. There we go. Hold it like that. Slide it up in there. Now when you tighten it, these little arms are gonna pop out. So there we go. As you tighten it, these arms are gonna pop out and hold it, okay? And it's gonna suck up tight there, the screws will be flush, and all the cabling will be able to drop right down nice and clean looking. Uh, that's just for the outlet. It's got the round outlet, the old bone color never going to be seen. I'm not going to bother changing that. I'll just leave that how it is. Uh, next thing we need to do is find the studs. Okay, in this uh, closet, there's a stud in this corner, stud in this corner, and then we have a double 
that splits the uh, outlet there. Now, before I cut drill holes for screws, I'm gonna test fit the cabinet. That'll be fun. Okay, I'm holding it up with my left hand, which is all kinds of fun, good exercise. The holes look like they line up pretty well. That drywall, I'm gonna need to cut it out. Um, on the top side of the screen, looks like another inch or so. Then we'll be good. Okay, some things to be aware of when installing cabinets. This is an abnormal installation where it just fits right in that gap. Uh, normally you're gonna take a level and verify that the walls are level where you need them, this and that. You go this direction as well. And then if you need to, you're gonna put shims, little tiny wood shims on the sides or the bottom. Uh, this one you can't access from the top, but um, that's how you're gonna make the cabinet level. Even in this situation, you want that cabinet level, otherwise whatever you set in there, you know, if it's anything that can roll, it will. And that's just annoying. So the walls are all level. All I need to do is lift it up and screw it in place. So I've measured my studs and there's six screws that are gonna hit studs. Uh, this screw over here won't quite reach. They're 16 inches on center and that from the center of this screw to that corner's about uh, 14 inches. So it will not reach, but the six screws will be plenty with what I'm storing in the uh, cabinet. The cabinet is secure. I'm gonna install this little device. Super, super simple. I might pull the camera off to get a better view of it. Maybe I can just do this. Oh yeah, now we're in business. Okay, remember these tabs, I can't tell if that's visible right there. There we go. These tabs have to be tucked in, okay? And then the screws pushed up so that it will catch. I'm gonna feed all the wires, which is a super pain the way I bundled them. Then as we tighten these screws, got the wrong size head there. It just pulls that right up. Okay, there we have that. I'm 
Remember the red hardware bag that was in the cabinet earlier when I unboxed it? That's what this is all about. So I'm gonna put the shelf, there's two shelves. I'm gonna put them both probably the same height. I might only use one shelf really. our one shelf. Okay, because nobody really needs to see the surveillance equipment I've got at the house. Now all we're doing is putting, I put that other door on to cover it up. Ah. Um, now I'm just putting these doors back on and I can get a filler to fit in here and that'll just fill that gap. Because this is in a hidden place in the house, I'm not gonna do that. It doesn't really matter to me. But that's not good. If it were out in a, uh, like a normal area in the house, yeah, it's covered up. But this one, no big deal. get one with the middle rail because I needed access for all the equipment. You can get a middle rail cabinet and that'll uh, get rid of that black line. I could adjust the doors inward so they're super close and you won't see that gap but again it doesn't really matter for what I'm doing. 